Hey, what's up, guys? I know it's been a long time. I haven't uploaded anything, but finally back. Uh, today, the goal is going to try to be to start fabricating the turbo manifold for the 135i. But first off, I have a lot of stuff I got to clean up. I haven't been home in probably over a week and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up a little bit. You can see I added another N54 to the collection. And we also got a, a 4.8 that's going to be going on my brother's E36. So a lot of pretty, pretty fun stuff coming up. But first off, let me go ahead and start cleaning. And then we're gonna go, go ahead and get straight into the fabrication for the 135i. All right, so we're finally done cleaning. Um, actually, what we're gonna start off today, what I'm gonna start doing is I have to install these motor mounts that I got. I got some uh, Turner Motorsport solid mounts. So I gotta go ahead and install these first before I get up any further because the motor mounts I have on there, they're already kind of beat up. So I want to make sure that once I build this, I know it's everything going perfectly because if those motor mounts are beat up and then I make turbo manifold for everything. And then I install these afterwards, the motor could stay higher and then things might hit and stuff. So first, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. But uh, yeah, guys, I haven't really done anything to the car this whole time. It's just been sitting how it is. So everything just been getting dirty. And no work's been done. Uh, the harness and everything was pretty much done from last time. I might do some changes to it. Not 100% sure yet. But um, yeah, first, let me put these motor mounts on. And then we'll kind of see. And I can tell you guys where everything's going to kind of go in this car. As far as turbo, intercooler, and how I'm going to build everything. Because I do have this intercooler core that I'm going to be using to make my intercooler. I will not have an off-the-shelf intercooler. I will be building everything myself. So I'm going to go ahead and install these on. So I finally got the motor mounts put in. Uh, these are my old ones. See, I already put epoxy on them one time. I can show you guys why I really want to go to full solid motor mounts since in my intercooler pop, everything's going to be a single piece. Um, it's going to have V-band, so not, not a lot of stuff is going to be moving around. So those are finally in, so now I can finally know exactly where that motor's going to sit forever, kind of, um, and throw these away. I'll show you guys right now a clip of the motor mounts kind of, kind of have a look in there. But another thing that I, I bought was um, this intake spacer. There's like a thermal insulator between the aluminum head and the aluminum intake. So the aluminum intake doesn't get really hot. So I kind of needed this before I did any fabrication as well. Because obviously the manifold is going to be more a little bit. And since like I told you guys, everything's going to be solid. Uh, I need to be have everything is going to be final fit once I finally assemble everything. So I'm going to slap it on there, just so I have it on there already. And then I'll kind of show you guys uh, how I'm be routing my turbo, how I'm pulling everything, and where my intercooler is going to go. So this is somewhat how the intercooler is going to be sitting. Um, the end tanks are going to go out. This end tank is going to probably going to go straight up to here. It's going to be a top uh, outlet, so you can go straight onto there. And this uh, one over here, I'm not sure for sure yet. I'm thinking also up, since so the turbo is going to sit right around this area up front. And I'll probably have a, a half radiator going from here to here, some something like that on this side. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the general idea. Right now, I have to put on the flange, and then I'll figure out exactly where the turbo is going to go. And then I'll try to see if I can get the flange tacked on onto the turbo flange so I can kind of know where everything's going to sit. And then I have quite a few engines out here where I can kind of mock it up afterwards and build it off out here. So I'm not checking a lot of stuff while the uh, engine's still in the car. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the uh, head flange. So this is the flange that pulls onto the exhaust, manif uh, the exhaust side of the head. And uh, this is my T4 flange, the bided flange. This will bolt straight onto my turbo, just like so. So this is kind of your basic stuff, how you start off with it. And down here, I have a lot of fabrication stuff. These are old elbows um, that I'll be using. I have some straight tubing and whatnot as well. And practically, I have to weld these and make it into 
where it bolts onto there. So right now it bolts up to the engine and then I'll figure out, I'll probably bring out the engine hoist so I can lift up the turbo and set up where I want it to. And then I'll have to find some stainless uh, bar so I can tack this on the side onto somewhere on here. And that way I kind of know where this is gonna stay relatively to this. And then I'll bring it out here, uh, build one runner and then we we'll, can go from there. So instead of uh, actually um, mocking everything up to the flange, what I'm actually gonna do is so for engines. I'll make a fixture out here in the front that's gonna go from these two bolts out to make a square tubing and it's gonna hold the flange. And then I can transfer that over to an out engine out there because if I make a fixture that holds the flange onto the other flange, it's gonna be kind of kind of weird angle and a lot of weight putting down on it. And it's probably, once I put turbo on this, it's kind of heavy, it's gonna sag a lot. So it will be kind of be better off if I make a flange that goes onto the engine uh, mix, uh, fixture than out to the flange. So this is what I ended up making. I made this bracket that bolts onto the block and then it has this uh, bar that goes out and then I was able to bolt it onto the flange. Uh, <clears throat> I added a small piece of uh, stainless tubing onto the flange so I wouldn't mess it up. And then after that, that's where I bolted this square tubing onto. And the turbo can hold itself up pretty good right there. And now I'll be able to transfer it over to another engine. Uh, start fabricating the turbo manifold. Uh, it's really close to the to the headlight, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, the hot side, I'm probably gonna have to sh uh, shave off some of the headlight off and uh, cover it up. And then once the turbo mat, turbo um, shield and everything, should be fine. But um, I mean, I was originally planning on filling the full headlight. So, I mean, if I have to, I'll cut a part of it off. It doesn't even actually work the headlight. I just want the headlight to look there. So it looks kind of stockish um, as far as headlight goes. And, but yeah, you can see the turbo pretty good from the front of the car. So I think you'll have a uh, really good uh, airflow going into it from this vent, also from this vent. The hood closure is just fine. Right now, the bumper is sagging a little bit, but uh, everything fits good. Uh, it has quite a bit of clearance up top. So that will be pretty nice. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, how I'm gonna get this to work. Right now I'm gonna take this um, fixture that I made and I'm probably gonna transfer it over to one of those engines I have over there. And then I'll be able to show you guys how I kind of made the fixture. And then I can go ahead and start actually uh, figuring out where the runners and everything's gonna go. So I transferred over the fixture that I made over to this engine, one of my spare engines that I had back there. So I have it bolted on the same exact same way as I had it on the car. So the turbo shoot is sitting in the exact same spot. So now I can kind of figure out uh, how I'm gonna run the runners onto the first one and then I can break the tags off and then worry about the other runners um, But yeah, I welded uh, this piece of uh, Square tubing onto this piece of pipe stainless pipe and then I tack welded this piece of pipe onto the flange That way I wouldn't contaminate the stainless uh, flange But yeah, I just have to figure out how I'm gonna run this and then I'll go ahead and do that You can see the head is not even bolted down or anything. So I'm gonna have to make sure this is a uh, even first before I start work doing any work on that. But right now I'm gonna get, go ahead and start thinking about how I'm gonna do this. And then I'll show you guys what I come up with. So this is what I ended up coming up with guys. So I have um, these three back runners going to one collector and then I have these uh, front three uh, runners going to the other collector. Uh, those three runners are pretty much good where they're gonna go. I have to modify this one and this one after I test fit it inside the car. They were this one and this one were both hitting on the frame uh it's just because these two are obviously more out than this one so i just have to match these two and make them be uh, a little bit more back just like this one and then everything should fit just fine uh i'm sorry i didn't film any of this it was just really tough uh doing all this work and trying to film at the same time but right now i'm gonna go ahead and start uh, taking some of these runners off cleaning them up uh really good and then welding them out and then start placing them back into here and i have to do that for every single runner and then once that i can weld everything out so i got one of the i got the merge collector all welded up uh, and then i got one of the runners fully welded onto the merge collector and onto the flange so i was able to uh get the turbo on here kind of mocked up pretty good all right it's gonna sit i have the rest of the runners over here um, these are all the runners that I still have to mess around with a little bit. 
uh, and then clean them up good, uh, weld them, double check that everything fits and go back and forth. But I got one of them welded on there good. That took me pretty much all day to get that just that done, and I already had an arc on. So and the uh, welded the flex was already closed, so pretty much done for a day. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of the engine on there and show you guys what I did, uh, kind of how I welded everything up. And then I'll probably sum it up for today. Actually, probably for this video in general, I'll probably have to finish that up in a different video uh, when I do some other work. So I'm gonna go take that off, and then I'll show you guys uh, kind of how I welded everything up. So this is pretty much everything I, I got welded today. I got the merge collectors done. So I actually welded them out, the merge collectors, and then I welded them onto the flange. So all this took forever. Just this by itself took a few hours, um, especially since I don't really have the right equipment to purge and everything. Um, having to do some stuff like all over again or not having the right uh, equipment for the purging and the hose would come off from a purge line and then I have to redo it and whatnot. Took it quite a long time, but we got it done. Like I said, everything got purged, so it's, everything's all nice on the inside. Um, the welds on the outside are not the prettiest, but they'll work just fine. Uh, it's been a really long time since I welded, and even then, I wasn't really that good of a good uh, stainless steel welder in the first place. Uh, so it'll be fine. But yeah, this all welded up, everything. I got one runner welded from the flange all the way over to here. So this thing's solid, I can mount on the turbo. Uh, and the nice thing is I can take the flange off, the whole manifold, take it off, put it on my table, and then I can weld the rest of it outside. I don't have to be having on here, taking it off back and forth. I already know everything clears. I had everything. I have my merge, uh, I mean my runners over here. Uh, they still need some work. I need to clean them up. Uh, there's some parts, some pieces that I'm gonna redo. Just the fit up was like really bad. So uh, what I can, I'll do, and what I can't, I'll have to redo uh, as far as cutting and stuff like that. But I ran out of argon, like I said, so I'm pretty much done for a day as far as welding goes. And I'll be gone tomorrow. I'll be out of town. So I have to finish this up when I run back in town. But uh, I have some more parts coming in that I'll be installing when I get back. And that's well finishing this up. And we're going to finally be able to get going on this car and uh, try to get it done. Um... Uh, here pretty soon. All right, guys, so I was gonna sum it up for today. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to of what I was doing. Uh, I'm just trying to make the best out of my time and work, 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 and then just give you guys updates of what I get done. But um, yeah, that's gonna be really it as far as work for today. I don't have any other parts and I ran out of Arkham, so I, can, I can't continue welding. But I have some more parts coming in next week. So you guys wanna make sure to stick around and check that out. Uh, I'll be doing an install on that and also be finishing up the manifold on my next video. And then I can finally start uh, doing the intercooler stuff and then um, then get back to, to wiring and try to get this thing to turn on. So definitely stick around because that will be coming up here soon. Um, I'll try to keep making videos here and uh, consistent pace again and not take so long again like I did this time. But uh, go ahead and like the video. That's going to help me out a lot. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll have a lot more content coming up. And once again, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.